Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that I got from the most recent yard sale footage uh, that I posted. Uh, typically I do my hauls right after my footage videos, but I got a little bit behind this week because Eric and I went to an auction yesterday. So I'm trying to get back on track with all of my videos and I kind of just didn't realize how much stuff, like how big of a haul I had. Um, from that day I went out yard sailing, so I have a lot of stuff to go through. So um, most of it is listed. There's a couple things that aren't now explained those when I get to them. Um, but we're just going to start off with the first thing that I have here. And you probably saw me pick up this jar at a sale. And it's got these, um, I believe they're sturgeon fish all over them. I was just drawn to this jar. It was so interesting to me. It was marked on the bottom WG White London, but it's this heavy ceramic jar and it's got a screw top lid. So it opens like this. It's a really nice heavy duty jar. It was 50 cents and I was like, I'm just going to buy this because it's really cool. I like the, um, give me a minute guys. I'm sorry. It's a little obnoxious sounding. Um, I was just drawn to it because of the fish print and it was really heavy, just very nice quality for 50 cents. So come to find out, it is actually a caviar jar. So this would have had caviar in it at one point or it's used to store specifically caviar. So that's really cool. I had no idea. I, I've only ever had caviar one time and from what I remember, it wasn't that bad, <laughs> but um, I was eating it with other stuff. It wasn't just completely straight. So I don't know, it wasn't bad, but it's not something that I think I'd eat all of the time. But I thought that was really cool. It's a caviar jar. And I have this listed on auction currently at a starting price of $49.99. When I looked up this, um, WG White London and caviar jars um, by this company, they are some priced really, really high. So that's what I went with. If it doesn't get a bid, I'll probably just relist it at that price and just kind of wait for the right buyer to come along for that. Next, we have a oh my gosh, this is so cute! Uh, a Christmas ornament. I got a couple of Christmas related items. And this here, I just, I fell in love with it. You guys know I like weird stuff. I like unique stuff. Anything quirky, unusual, that kind of thing. I just love it. So this is a kitty cat dressed like Santa Claus. It has the most skinniest long legs ever that just dangle around. It is so stinking cute. There is no marking on it, so I don't know who it's made by. I don't know if it's older or anything like that, but I fell in love. Um, he was just 50 cents, and I have him up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. So we'll see if he sells or not, but I just loved it. I couldn't let him sit. I also got a baggie of vintage Christmas ornaments. These were also 50 cents. I got them at the same sale. And these are by a company called Jewel Bright. And they're just these plastic uh, Christmas ornaments. And they have like a um, diorama type of look to them. Inside is just like this um, vintage little figure. This one it looks like a gnome in there. So it was a set of five. This one is yellow with a little bow. This one is also red with a snowman. We got a blue Santa Claus. And then the last one is a yellow deer. So the whole bag for 50 cents and I have that on auction for night with a starting price of $19.99. I think it currently has a bid and I was seeing people listing the ornaments individually for 10 a pop. So I thought, you know, someone would be getting a really good deal for a lot of five of them, even if they only sell at $19.99. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay. Yes, I do have other vintage Christmas stuff. I got these two 
Napco. Mr. and Mrs. Claus, these are candle huggers. And they have the spaghetti trim. His is around um, his hat and hers is around her dress. Now, I actually got these in, if you guys remember those vintage Christmas boxes I picked up for free along the side of the curb quite a while back. These guys were in there and I already sold them before. So when I saw these, I was like, hey, there they are again. So I decided to pick them up. These were just $1. And I have them listed as a buy it now for $17.99. So they're very cute. Their little Napco stickers did fall off, but they are Napco. Another vintage Christmas item I picked up was this Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus um, tree light. It's a Christmas tree topper. So this was still in its original box, so I was like drawn to that and that is what it looks like now um, I did pay three dollars for this and unfortunately it's not really working as well as it should um, there is one one of the little plastic pieces like the clear plastic pieces is missing off one of the bulbs um, when you plug it in it comes on but I don't think that it's working properly like it lights up but it's just Something doesn't seem right. I think maybe a bulb or something is potentially loose. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. So I did post this up um, on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I disclosed about, you know, I'm thinking that there is a bulb or something that needs replaced in it. Um, but if someone is just using it strictly for the packaging or to display it, then you know it shouldn't really matter if it's not technically working it as well as it should um but i just i honestly don't know exactly how to go about fixing it myself so i just kind of listed it as is i found this little kids vintage bathrobe or sleeping robe it's very lightweight um it is a size 8 to 10 and you could tell also by the tag that it's a vintage but it's a Washington Redskins kids bathrobe it has like a little terry cloth um, pocket here and just like terry cloth um, trim and everything like that. So this was only a quarter and I listed this as um, an auction with a starting price of $39.99 and it does have a bid. When I was looking up these vintage children's like football robes, I saw another one i don't know if it was the seahawks that sold for like 70 dollars so i i went with 39.99 so if it only sells for that much that's fine um but or maybe it wasn't seven maybe it was 50 that the seahawks one sold for i can't remember exactly but anyway that's still a great price considering i only paid a quarter for it i got this pair of nike snow boots I didn't even know Nike made snow boots until I saw these boots at the sale. They are so cute. Look at that. There's like a shiny chevron type print on the on the back. And they got these like pom poms and the fur trim. These are so adorable. I love them. They are my size, but I listed them. Yay me. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I didn't keep them and they are in like really nice condition they look like they were barely worn at all so let's see i paid three dollars for these boots just three dollars and i have them up on auction currently at a starting price of 49 dollars and 99 cents might be hard finding a buyer for them right now since we're in summer even though i have my heat on today because it's freezing um so i may have to relist them as a buy it now if no one buys them on auction but they are so cute oh and they are a size i think they're six and a half yeah they're six and a half all right here's a piece of clothing that i found this is really awesome this is a poncho and it is made out of alpaca wool it is very soft very warm and very cute it's a one size kind of fits all deal because it's open and then it just has this like toggle type closure here on the front and it's made by a company called albina's albina is alpaca i'm not quite sure exactly how to pronounce that but it was made in peru so i thought that was really cute 
and it does have fringe on the bottom as well. Oh, I know it's hard to see. Um, anyway, I paid, I paid $3 for this poncho and I have it up on auction with a starting price of $49.99. When I was looking up alpaca ponchos, a lot of them were selling really high, like upwards of $70. So we'll see if I get that for this one or not. Sometimes I price a little high um, in hopes that I can make, you know, a really good profit off something right away. But if it doesn't get bids and stuff like that, then I relist and I'll sometimes come down on the price. Okay, next we have, this is another pair of clothing that I got. I actually got at the same sale. I got that poncho. I got these women's Harley Davidson sweatpants. These are brand new with the tags. Originally $70 these were these are really nice they're a size extra large they have front pockets and the pockets have this like chain detailing very cute and then the bot or the backs say Harley Davidson there on the butt so I also paid only three dollars for these and I have these on auction as well with a starting price of thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so still cheaper than the $70 they retailed for. I got two pieces of jewelry and you guys saw this in the footage video. I was looking through like this box of jewelry and the jewelry was priced $7 a piece, but the man only charged me a dollar. And it was so funny because he thought my camera was one of those um, like little instruments that uh, people use to de like look at things closer to determine if um you know they're marked as like sterling or gold and that kind of thing and i was telling him like no it was a it was my video camera i was recording because i make youtube videos and he was nice enough to offer the jewelry at a dollar a piece and I only took two pieces because I felt bad. Like I didn't want to take advantage of his generosity and buy like his whole box of jewelry at a dollar a piece when he had $7 on each piece. So I only got two pieces. Uh, the first one was this and I thought this was so pretty. Now there was a little paper in here kind of talking a little about it. I don't know if maybe he had an antique booth or something at some point or sold at a flea market. I'm not sure. But the stone that this necklace is made out of is called Demortorite, uh, but it does say that the chain is sterling silver and it looks like he wanted $75 for it um, in his antique booth. It's a really nice necklace. Um, it doesn't have a clasp or anything. You just, you know, slip it right on over your head. It's got some weight to it. And then those blue, those blue stones are whatever that do to, the D, the D word I just attempted to say a little while ago. <laughs> and then I guess like the chain is uh, sterling silver. So very, very pretty necklace. I only paid a dollar for it. I currently have it on auction with a starting price of $25.99. So someone may be getting an incredible deal with this if that's all it ends, ends at. But um, since I got an incredible deal for it, uh, I don't mind. So very, very pretty necklace though. So I got that one from him and then I also bought this one and I just really liked the look of this. This one did say $64 on it, but um, this, the stones on it, they feel like nice quality stones. I don't know what, what kind of stones they are or anything like that. I'm not, I don't, not very knowledgeable when it comes, comes to jewelry. But I also took this necklace here and it has these really pretty, just different colored stones. And then on the bottom here, do I have it the wrong way? I do. There is this little fairy and a tree branch. I just thought that was so cute. So that was also a dollar. And I have this listed on auction with a starting price of $14.99. So I took those two pieces. I thought they were really pretty. Okay, next we have this really cute trinket box. How cute is this? It has a little lion on it. I just love his face, just his whole look. So it's just like a little lidded trinket box. There is a marking on the bottom and it's by a brand called Qon Japan is the maker. 
if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, I paid 50 cents for this and I listed it for a buy it now of $15.99. So there is a little bit of sticker residue. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. It's like some sticker residue right here that I had a hard time getting off. I got off most of it, but it could still use a little scrubbing with some goo gone. I got this fairy lamp. This is so pretty. It's small. It's not large at all. And it's like an amber glass, but I think it almost has like a peachy orange color to it is what I see anyway. So it looks like this on the inside. The base has these like suspended bubbles inside of it. It's very pretty. So this would fit like a tea light or, you know, a small votive candle. I just thought it was so pretty. I debated on keeping this. I have a slight collection of fairy lamps, but I'm trying to not keep everything that I buy. So anyway, this fairy lamp I paid $1 for and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99. This here I am keeping for myself though. I did find one thing for myself. This is going to be for my Halloween decor. This little pumpkin, he was $1. He's kind of like weighted down with, um, I'm guessing there's sand in the bottom, but he's felt. And he has this little uh, crow there on his top. So just kind of like a little primitive looking pumpkin. I loved him. So it's going to go with my Halloween decor for a dollar. I don't know exactly where he came from or anything like that. Um, I took this piece here. Um, I don't really know exactly what it is. I think it would have been awesome to uh, display Barbie hats on. Like if you sell a lot of like Barbie accessories and Barbie clothes, I think it would have been perfect to display Barbie hats. But it's just this long necked lady and very, very pretty. It reminds me of like, you know, like a mannequin bust. And then along the bottom here is made to look like the top of her like red dress kind of thing. So just a pretty decorative piece. It wasn't marked or anything like that. So I have no idea how old it is or where it came from or anything like that. But I paid 50 cents for it and I put it up on auction with a starting price of $12.99 just because I couldn't find anything quite like it. So when I can't find stuff, I tend to start things on auction. Um, just to kind of get an idea of, you know, let other people decide what it's worth type of thing. And then if it doesn't get bids, I relist as a buy it now. I also took these um, vintage Disneyland salt and pepper shakers. They're shaped like bells. Uh, I'm not quite sure who the characters are. Um, I just went by another auction that said like it was a cop and I forget what the lady's name um, was but they're on the front and then the back says Disneyland and they still had their stoppers and their little made in Japan stickers so I paid one dollar for these and I have them listed as a buy it now of twelve dollars and ninety nine cents all right next I have another trinket box this one has four feet on the bottom really pretty just floral um, look on the top and then this is this um, mark on the bottom and I'm pretty sure this stands for Kalk Germany these little um, crossed kind of arrows I've sold a trinket box that had the same uh, mark before and that's what it was when I did my research so I'm assuming this is like pretty well the same dealie and this here I paid 50 cents for, and I have it listed as a buy it now of $19.99. The other one that I sold, I sold for that, that same price. You guys saw this in my footage video. I'm not going to turn it on just because it's very, very loud, but it is a plastic coffin and it's a candy holder. Like, um, you know, you, well, you could use it for anything, but it, Mainly, I guess, is supposed to be used for candy. And this little skull here on the front glows in the dark. It's really awesome. And it opens on its own and closes closes on its own um, and makes, like, a really creepy sound. And I only paid a dollar for it. Like, the lady sold me on it at the sale. She turned it on and showed me how it worked. And I was like, okay, yeah, I I'm going to buy that. 
Um, so I don't have this currently listed yet because I made a little bit of a video kind of like how I've been doing here lately when I have something that's animated. Um, I've been posting up videos of it so I haven't listed it yet because I still need to post that uh, video. So once you see that video it, it will have been posted. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm um, asking for it yet because I didn't really look to see what it's worth yet but for a dollar had to get it. All right next thing I got was this stack of old music VHS tapes like old concerts and music videos and stuff like that. So individually these cassettes really aren't worth a whole lot but I decided to just buy the bunch of them and then list them as a lot because I figured I could maybe get a little more for them that way. So I paid three dollars for all of them um, and I have them on auction with a starting price of $25.99. So we got Motley Crue Uncensored, Ozzy Osbourne, Don't Blame Me, this one's Metallica, we got Marilyn Manson, that's not actually sealed, it just has like the plastic still on it. This one is Pantera. And this one I actually sold before individually. It's Mother Love Bone. I had gotten it at Goodwill. So I figured at least that one might, might have sold on its own, but I just decided to lot these all together. So fun fact, I've seen one of these bands live before. So if you can guess which one it is down in the comments, I'll, I'll heart the comment so you know that you guessed correctly. <laughs> okay, so next we have, oh, these are so cute. I got this set of kitty cat, these are like chalkware wall hanging. So we have mama, mama kitty, and then we have all of her baby kitties. And there's three, three baby kitties. So three babies and mama. And they all have like little wire type um, backs on them to hang them by. So those I paid, I paid $2 for, for those, the whole set. And I think I have them, oh gosh, I marked it up, I marked it up. I think I have them as a buy it now for $39.99. I saw other people selling, oh, they're also, marked 1970 Miller Studio is who made them. But anyway, I saw other people um, selling them and some people only had like one baby or just the mama cat and that kind of thing. But I'm pretty sure that this is the complete set of them. Speaking of cats, I got this guy and right now I don't have him listed because I'm tossing around um, keeping him for myself. So this is a bronze kitty cat or brass or whatever. I don't, I don't know my metals. Brass, it's brass. It have to be brass. Yeah, it's brass. Um, this brass cat and he's just this like long skinny thing sitting up straight. This thing is so heavy. Oh my gosh. Like I always say with like the heavy stuff, like I could conk someone out with this. Like it could definitely be used as a weapon. Uh, anyway, this cat here, I paid $5 for it, and like I said, it's not listed because I'm debating on keeping it, but you might see it. I always say that. You may see it. Uh, this here is just a Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon Body Spray. I paid $1 for that, and I'm just keeping this for myself as well. This is just like an iconic scent. Um... I used to wear this like back in middle school. So when I smelled it, I was like, oh, I haven't smelled that in ages type of thing. So I had to get that. I did get this baby blue. This is so pretty. This baby blue purse by the sack. It is a leather bag. It's in really nice condition. Um, I paid $2 for it. So it just looks like that on the inside. And this here, like I said, I paid $2 for it and I have it currently on auction with a starting price of $19.99. So it's just a really pretty blue and it is a crossbody bag. I got these Victorian looking wall hangings. So these are like a 
plaster or chalkware is how I would describe them. They're marked 1967 JS United Chicago on the sides. So it's this man with an instrument and then this lady on a swing. I just love this kind of look. I love Victorian kind of looking stuff. So I paid $2 for these plaques, a dollar a piece. And I have them listed as a buy it now of $49.99. When I was looking up other stuff by this brand, it was definitely listed high. Um, and then I did see someone that had the set listed for even higher than, than that. I think they had theirs listed for like 50 something and then someone that only had like the lady but not the man. So I went with that. We'll see how long they take to sell or if they'll sell. I got this vintage uh, trash can. I fell in love with the look of this. It has this gorgeous owl on the front and then the back is black. And <laughs> there is like candle wax spatter on it and then the interior it's probably like way too hard to see there's like candle wax on the bottom of this um trash can and the bottom is marked page and biddle um it definitely looks like an older kind of tag there on the bottom so i paid one dollar for this trash can and i have it listed on auction currently with a starting price of 19 dollars and 99 cents I always hear metal trash cans can sell really well. I've sold other vintage trash cans before in the past. So I just, you know, I liked the look of this. I know owls are really popular, um, but I don't always pick them up because a lot of the times they're not in the best condition. Like, I mean, this one's fine, especially if you're only gonna like display it with this side facing out. You can obviously like scrape off the wax and like clean out the wax in the the interior if you really wanted to but um i just bought it because of the fact that it had an owl on it type of thing so we'll see how that goes okay i'm only showing these two things because well they're in front of my face um i did stop at my aunt's house um last week and she gave me a couple more things to sell for her and one of which was this um vintage My Little Pony wallet. This is really cute. It is from 1983. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Um, I do have this listed on auction currently with a starting price of $19.99. And then another item that she gave me was this <laughs> vintage ALF puzzle. So that's really fun. All the pieces are there. I already put it together. I mean, it was pretty quick. It was like 35 pieces. Um, I forget what I have this listed for. Um, I don't think it's much because I don't think it's worth like a whole, whole lot. But it's just fun because it's ALF. All right. So at one sale, I picked up these four books. These are four older books. You guys might remember um, R.L. Stein's Fear Street series. Um, I heard that Netflix, I think it's Netflix, is making a TV series based on the Fear Street books. Uh, so that's amazing. I definitely feel like if you have, like, you know, a complete set of books and stuff like that, that they can sell really well. I don't know about individually, but I found it and I don't come across these very often. So I'm going to start trying to, like, collect them in hopes that, you know, I can get, like... A collection of them. Same with the Babysitter's Club. If you have all of them, you can make um, decent money on them. And then I also took these um, Babysitter's Little Sister books. These are just books that I don't come across very often, so I'm gonna attempt to start a collection of those and then sell them once, you know, I have a, a complete collection. And then this was free. It's a digital thermometer. It's called Kinsa care thermometer so I just decided to grab that obviously I'll sterilize it off but I mean it was a free thermometer so I just decided to take it this thing here um, kind of upset me a little bit I saw one of these at a yarn sale um, the week prior and I didn't pick it up and I was editing my video and I stumbled across it and I looked it up and they were selling really high and I was like oh my god why didn't I pick that up so 
The next week I find another one and I, I knew right away like okay well I know this thing is worth money so I decided to grab it. It was five dollars and it looked like it was new in the box. Well when I got it out um, and plugged it in he makes noise but his hips are supposed to like rock back and forth and he doesn't work. So that was so upsetting. I paid five dollars for it and I'm not going to be able to sell it now because it's broken. So I'll either have to put it out at like my yard sale and like let people know like he like it makes it makes the music but you know Santa doesn't dance anymore. I wish they had disclosed that at the auction I or the yard sale that I purchased it from, but they did not. So, you know, that sucks that here I thought that, you know, I had found like a pretty much brand new in box one and I didn't. So these can sell really well. Um upwards of $50 these um, original ones. This is from 1998. The um, Jingle Bell Rock Santas. So it would have been a great score but I was thinking of like opening it up and trying to like fix it myself just to see if I could um, but I don't know if I'll be able to or not so we'll see. And the last thing that I have to show for this haul um, I picked up this piece and oh my gosh, Eric wasn't with me and my eyesight is not the best, obviously. I mean, I wear glasses, but I got this vase. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I did not realize there is a whole piece broken off the top here. See, when I was looking at it, wasn't really noticing the break. And when I showed Eric, like that's the first thing he noticed because he's got eagle eyes. But I fell in love with this. I think it's so pretty with the orange and then it like goes to like a creamy yellow at the base. Just absolutely gorgeous. No markings on it so I'm not sure who it's made by. But um, I don't have Alyssa yet because it's broken. I didn't know if someone would still buy, buy something like this um, broken. Um, I didn't know whether or not I should kind of like sand down the jaggy bit here because it's kind of on the sharp side. I just wasn't sure what to do with it. You guys have to let me know if like something like this would still sell broken or if you wouldn't bother. I just, I wasn't sure what to do <laughs> with it. I mean, I can maybe just like, you know, keep it for myself um, cause I don't care if it's broken, but I just didn't know if there'd be value in it um, with the little um, finger piece broken off there, the little appendage. So that's the last thing I got. That was, um, I think she only charged me 75 cents for that. So, you know, I didn't pay much for it. So it's hard to say, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think down below if I should list that, like would you um, potentially buy it even broken and that kind of thing. Cause I just don't know what to do with it. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. It <laughs> It was a lot of stuff. It definitely was a lot of things and I'm like really happy with everything that I found that week. Um, like I said, Eric and I did go to an auction yesterday. Spent way too much money <laughs> there. Um, and then I have, oh my gosh guys, I have my Goodwill haul to film for you. Um, so many videos. I need to film a cha-ching. I need to film another uh, Bolo 411 video. And I have yard sale footage up the butt to post up and yard, more yard sale hauls. And I am, I'm kind of drowning right now. I'm literally drowning in videos, things that need edited, things that need listed, um, things that need recorded. <laughs> like this, this literally takes like a lot of time to do and I'm starting to feel slightly overwhelmed. So I'm just trying to take it day by day and like get my stuff um, edited and recorded and listed as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.